Hello, folks. Uh, fair developers. Sorry. <laughs> Today, I want to talk to you about a spawning system and how a simple spawning system can be implemented. And here, I want to show you. It's done with the uh, timeline, timeline, add timeline. So this is it. And essentially, what you do is you double click, and then what you want to do is you want to. Sorry, what you want to do is you want to click add event track and call this enemy version 4 and essentially you want to implement an amount of time so how long is this uh, game going to last so the game itself it can be a round also perhaps you have a level perhaps you have a level where you have like a hundred seconds and these are seconds so you can have like a hundred seconds, but mine is like one game, so... Well, mine is like this, this is going to be the first level. And this is the first type of enemy. And as you can see, it gets increasingly more. So this is like the first round, every 30 seconds is the round. 4, 5, 6, or 7, 7, and then 8, and then you add one of these, the version 2 enemies, at 300 seconds, and then more of these version 2 enemies and more and more and more and then you got version sorry and then you got version 3 enemies that you keep and that you add eventually and of course version 4 which I won't use I have a mistake I can delete version 4 but version 3 as you can see I, I have used it I, I am using it and essentially you just click this add event track and you link this up so essentially enemy 1 uh, so enemy 1 is enemy well, 1 and what this is, is this is a function and let's look into the function this is a simple spawn actor enemy 1 so it just spawns it on int so a random actor and you just give it a location which is something you place in the level and then you get the transforms the information make an array, array and then you get the information and then you feed it into the spawn transform point and this is some simple thing this, which I'm not using but you don't have to do that it could just be this this all right here it's just simple, it could just be here and spawn to a random location it doesn't, doesn't have to be like this so essentially, and this is just enemy 1 enemy 2 is similar enemy 3 is the same thing so this is just this straight up as you can see direct and just, just feeding the location and it's directly fed into this so yeah and the point is it's a very simple way of uh, it's a very simple way of getting getting waves to happen but this could be just a wave right on level one and you can move to level two and you can move to level three and level four and level five and get more challenging and such and such and yeah, and I use a simple cast player save. So what I do is when the player is dead, I set this true. And if this is true, this does it once, and it stops the thing from playing, so it stops the enemies from spawning. And this checks every two seconds. If it's false, it does not. And uh, yeah, and when you begin the level, you set it to false, so it does nothing. When the player dies, any player, it sends a signal to the player save where it checks slot name, and uh, yeah, you just get the information. But you have to save every time you uh, you have to save the thing that you edit. So when you edit this, when you set it to true in the player save, or sorry, the player uh, when the player is dead, you have to save it immediately. So so it, so it's actually set. But you have to also make it false. When the level begins, otherwise we'll have uh, problems. <sighs> yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed my video. So use timeline, guys. I just set it all up. It's pretty simple. And this is a simple. Once this thing is finished, what we should do? It should. Well, it should probably move on to the next level. Okay, that's the truth. Uh, I just want to say all these. Probably move on to the next level.
using his knees, hardly hardly a wide decision. So yeah, thank you for watching. So move on to the next level, open level. Right. Thank you for watching.